Hello everybody, uh, we're back with part two of the trainer plane glider release video. And uh, last time we tried to release the glider during flight and it would not fall off. For some reason the glider release mechanism didn't work. So we've done some modifications to that and this is how it's going to work. When this servo is activated, it will release the glider like this. Okay, now that you've looked at the glider release, um, we want to talk about uh, the tail section. Uh, a friend of ours, Jim R., I won't mention his last name, but he gave us some ideas about making the tail area bigger for more stability and uh, less finicky center of gravity. So what do you, uh, you want to explain about that, John? Well, so anyway, we uh, pulled the old tail off and popped the new one back in. Okay, now that we've got our new tail in place, we're going to take it out and test it out. I don't know if it's down yet. Okay, it is. Alright. Now, okay. is it open? No. Open? Yeah, yeah. Now. There you go. Okay, it needs a little adjustment. It's holding it too tight. I think it's alright. Don't you? No, it's going to ruin the servo if, it's gonna, if it stays like that for too long. Oh, you see it? Sub trim. I want here. Oh, there you go. That's perfect. There you go. Get me out of all those menus. Alright. Uh, now, should I test it? It should work, but you can just make sure you have to switch it. Okay, yeah, that's enough. That's doing it again, but that's all right. Okay. Here you go. I don't know if the motor still works. Let me try it. Test on the motor. Just come on. All right. So we're ready? Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's just wait and see what this is. That's all for today. We'll see you on the tube.